friends welcome to my this new youtube video today we will discuss about residential building analysis and design for that we will use etax 2016 this is the autocad plan of residential building g plus one story building first of all open the etax 2016 Click on new model. Click on use building setting unit. Matrix assign display unit is matrix assign. Steel section data bin Indian steel design code IS eight hundred two thousand seven. Concrete design code IS four five six two thousand. Click OK. Minimum grid spacing number of grid lines in x direction is four. Number of grid lines in y direction is four. Spacing of grid lines in x direction is four meter. Spacing of grid lines in y direction is three meter. See here in plan view, spacing of grid lines in four meter. There is a four grid lines in x direction. One, two, three, four. And in y direction, spacing is three meter, three meter, two point eight meter. And grid lines is one, two, three, and four. So we are doing here number of grid lines four in x direction, number of grid lines four in y direction, spacing four meter in x direction, and spacing three meter in y direction. Click on custom grid spacing. Click on edit grid data. In x direction, click on display grid data as spacing. So four four meter in x direction spacing, in y direction first grid line is two point eight meter spacing, second grid ID is three meter spacing and third is three three meter spacing. Click OK. Simple story data number of story is G plus one plus terrace floor three story, and other two story is water tank level so five story. Typical story height is three meter, bottom story height is one point five meter. Custom story data, edit story data. Changes to footing. Story one is round floor. Second story is first floor. This is terrace. This is water tank bottom level. This is water tank top level. Ground floor is at one point five meter height. First floor is three meter height. Terrace terrace is also three meter height. Water tank bottom level is two point six meter height. Water tank top level one point five meter. Click OK. Select. Grid only. Click OK. So our model is ready. This is plan view, and this is 3D view. Now define the material property. Go to material property. Add new material. Region is India. Material type is concrete. Standard is Indian. Grade is M30. Make it M20. Click OK. So M20 material property is displaying. Click on OK. Add new material property. Indian rebar. Indian HRSD 415. Click OK. So this is HRSD 415 property is displaying. Click OK. Now 
delete material this will be as it is so we will define m20 and hysd 415 material click ok now define this section property click section properties frame section delete multiple properties because we are giving new new property new property section so delete this okay add new property click on add new property section shape is concrete rectangular select concrete rectangular section give property name is beam 230 by 350 mm give material type is m20 give section dimension depth is 350 mm width is 230 mm modify or show river select m3 design only beam section moving between bars hysd 415 confinement bar is hysd 415 top bar cover is 30 mm bottom bar cover is of 30 mm click okay click okay add new property select some shape concrete rectangular select concrete type rectangular shape property name is c column 230 by 350 mm material is m20 mm section dimension is 350 width is 230 modifier sorry bar this time pm3 m3 design column section selection limited inner bar hysd 415 confirm menu is also hysd 415 clear cover 40 m number of longitudes bar 3 number of longitudes bar in other direction is also 3 longitudes bar size 12 mm corner bar size also 12 mm confinement bar is 8 mm click okay click okay so we are defining the beam section 230 by 350 mm and column section 230 by 350 mm this section is deleted click okay now define slab section click on define section property slab section go to add new property give name s115 mm slab material m20 modeling type cell thin property type is slab thickness is 115 mm click okay add new property this is one way slab one way slab 115 slab material is m20 modeling type is membrane this is special one way load distribution type slab this is what cancel type is slab thickness is 115 this is one way slab defining click okay delete other property staircase slab is add new property staircase which is 150 mm slab material is m20 
टाइप्स ऑफ स्लैब थिकनेस इज वन फिफ्टी एम एम क्लिक ओके सो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ स्लैब इज डिफाइनिंग क्लिक ओके नाउ एसाइनिंग बीम फॉर डे क्विक क्लिक ऑन क्विक ड्रॉप बीम्स प्रॉपर्टीज टू थर्टी बाई थ्री पी एम एम नाउ दिस इज वन स्टोरी by clicking on arrow go to ground floor 1.5 meter level we are assigning beam on 1.5 meter level ground floor level momentarily is continuous properties b230 by 3 bpm select whole model at ground floor level so ground floor level beam is assigning go to first floor level ड्रैग माउस टू होल मॉडल फर्स्ट फ्लोर लेवल बीम इज एसाइनिंग दिस इज ऑन टेरेस फ्लोर लेवल टेरेस फ्लोर लेवल बीम इज एसाइनिंग दिस इज वाटर टैंक लेवल दिस इज वाटर टैंक लेवल बीम इज एसाइनिंग दिस इज वाटर टैंक टॉप लेवल दिस इज ऑल्सो बीम इज एसाइनिंग नाउ फॉर distribution second now for secondary beam go to first floor here secondary beam at 2 meter distance is created so property name is b230 by 350 mm moment delay is pin plan of surface is 200 mm Drawn beam, two thirty mm by three fifty mm. Moment delay is pin. Offset distance two thousand mm. Parallel to y direction. So this is secondary beam is created. Now here. At one point two meter distance, one secondary beam is created. See, this is secondary beam at one point two meter distance. So, draw beam command is used. Use property two thirty by three fifty. Momental spin. Plan offset twelve hundred mm. Line drawing type straight line. Drawing content type parallel to x. Or secondary beam. This beam is tilted beam. Now replicate it on first floor and terrace floor. So select to get two distri distribution. This two secondary beam distributed. Go to edit, replicate, story on first floor and terrace floor. Click apply. Okay. So, first floor and terrace floor. Also, secondary beam is assigned. Delete this beam. On first floor and terrace floor. Now assigning slab section. Here is a staircase. And this is zero meter level. There is no slab. On ground floor level, we will use this slab. On ground floor level, there is also no slab. On first floor level, this slab is there. So we draw slab. Select as one one five two S lab. One two three four five six seven. Eight. 
create this lab this lab navigate lab here this lab This is one mesh lab. So one mesh lab. This is tear gas. Now she lab also have Replicate in on terrace level. So go to edit, replicate on terrace level. Apply. Okay. So this is terrace level slab. Now is water tank level slab. Big drum slab. This is one mesh slab. We have to go to a slab. So click on quick draw slab. Make it to a slab as one one time slab. Go to water tank top level slab. So slab is defined. Now this is zero meter level. This is first floor level. Now we have to assign the column section. So click on quick draw column. Click on column section. drag mouse and select the all model so column is created from footing level to ground floor level and first floor level ground floor to first floor level also all column is created so the terrace level terrace level is also a all column is created this is water tank bottom level here is also all column is selected this is here also all column is created now the column orientation suppose these two column is oriented so select the to this column Delete this column and delete this column. For orientation of these two columns, go to quick draw column. Column property of object is displaying. The column number name is to see to 233 pm. Moment release is continuous. Angle degree is 90 degree. Plan offset is 0 0. So this is 90 degree angle the column is created now for coincide, coincide the age of the column with beam we have to give offset also we can give offset of the column so we can coincide the age of the column with the age of the beam for that first of all delete that column 
suppose this two column has to be coincide with db image so select quick draw column property name 23350 now model is 0 angle degree 0 degree plan offset in x direction so this is 350mm column so 175mm of half minus 115mm so 60mm 60mm is plan offset we have So here 60 mm offset distance we have to create two columns. Similarly, this three column can also offset. But this is in minus x direction. So we have to create this two column at minus x direction. Click quick draw column. Select property C two thirty three pm. Moment is continuous. Plan offset is minus six three six minus sixteen. Select column, delete. Go to click, click draw column. T two thirty three fifty minus sixteen. Now this two column has to be oriented in y direction. So we can make it delete. Delete. Go to click. Quick draw column. Command C two thirty by three pm. Command L is continuous. This time angle is ninety degree. This is zero. So these two column is rotated by 90 degrees. In this way we can offset the column and create column and whatever distance offset we have to make. Click save. G plus one story building. Click save. So G plus one story building already exists. Do you want to replace it? Click yes to replace it. Now staircase we have to define for that go for first floor. Now go for first floor. Select whatever change is doing. Replicate. First floor, terrace floor. Apply. Okay. Select this. Edit. Replicate. Story first floor terrace floor. Apply okay. Select this. Uh, 
एन ई ट्रेफिकेट फर्स्ट I need to replicate storing first row terrace apply okay. now see not changing This way we can change the orientation and option distance of the column. For this project, we cannot change the orientation offset, but if you want to change, you can do it in this way. So do it yourself. Make it zero. Column two thirty by three fifty. Click on show. Now we have created a staircase. This is a drum floor level. Duplicate beam in x direction. Next distance is time one minus one meter. Apply. Okay. So this is beam is created. Actually, there is no beam, but after creating slab staircase, we will delete the beam. Now divide this beam. I need frame divide frame. Divide to four point. Okay. So these two beam is delete. Two, two, this beam is divided in two beam. This is a middle height, middle landing level is also there. So first we have to make it 3D plan. Create slab here, staircase slab 150 mm. One slab is created. 
Now we are at mid landing. For that we have to divide this column, these two columns, for creating the mid landing. So for that we have to select first these two columns. Click on edit, edit frame, divide frame, divide two into two gram of that. Click apply. Okay. So this two in two part divided. Click beam. Now you have to create beam here. Yeah. At mid level. So this is beam still there. Now replicate it this beam. Edit. Replicate. This time one meter. Because this is one meter width of landing. So one meter. Apply. Okay. This is created. This is also divided in two part. So edit, edit frame, divide frame in two part. Apply. Okay. So this is in two part divided. And drawing slab ST150mm from here to here and here Is one flight is created for landing level, landing slab. Click enter, so landing slab is created. Now replicate it. First floor level. So I need to replicate story first floor. Apply. Okay. So this is created in first floor level. Draw slab from here to here. Here, here, click on that. So, one for the whole slide is created. Now, this beam has to be deleted. Delete, delete, delete. So select slab and replicate is in first blue. And terrace floor. Okay. So up to terrace level. We will defining the staircase. Here we have to 
वन वी में टू बी डिफाइंड मिड लैंडिंग लेवल now we have to go the we have to give the low for whole the model for all model so first of all we have to give up slab load at first floor and terrace floor level and water tank bottom and top level at the first floor level slab so there is a floor finish of 1 kilonewton meter square and light load of 2 kilonewton meter square for all rooms for cantilever slab now we have to slab cantilever so we have to give you cantilever slab at first floor level so was we have to give cantilever here so draw joint objects select this and offset x meter 2 meter minus 2 meter minus 2000 mm click enter so here one object is created similarly here is also one object is created now draw this slab cantilever slab click enter so cantilever slab is entered for cantilever beam from here to here draw beam b to the right by 3 pm this is continuous click on do again click slab this is s One one five. Click enter. Now for beam, B two thirty by three T one is continuous. Do straight line. This is also. This joint is assigned joint strain three apply okay so this is three joint. now click save for a fixed joint at foundation level go to one story
Get plan view, putting, applying, okay. Select all joint. Go to assign joint, strain, click support, apply. Okay, so click support is assigned. To all model for all column. Now give load. For that, we find. Load patterns. This is dead load and live load. Now we have to give earthquake load in x direction. This is seismic load. This is IS one eight nine three two thousand. Add new load. Now. Earthquake load in y direction. Seismic load is one hundred ninety. Click it. Now wind load in x direction. This is wind type. This is is one hundred seven by is eight seven by two thousand fifteen. A new load. Win load in y direction. Win load I guess it's wrong. A new load. Now earthquake in x direction. Modify letter loads. For x direction load. Undo all this and only take x direction. Now seismic zone vector for sure. So. Here, for seismic zone of Surat region, this is moment resulting RCC from building with brick infill panel and RC building with special moment resisting thing. So seismic zone is three, zone factor is point sixteen, importance factor one point two, and response reduction factor five. So. Seismic zone is three. Zone factor point sixteen. Soil site type is two. Medium steep soil type. Soil type is two. Medium soil type. Importance factor. Importance factor is one point two. Response reduction factor is five. One point two. Response reduction factor is five. Bottom story putting to water tank top. Time period is program calculated. Click OK. Similarly, in earthquake y direction, modify letter load. Tick mark only y direction. Seismic zone factor is 0.16. Soil type is type 2. Mass factor is 1.2. Response reduction factor 2. Time period is program calculator. Click OK. Now wind load in x direction. Modify letter load. Wind speed. Port Surat region, category three. Average height of numerous objects surrounding the structure is two ten meter. And topography plane plan of wind slope less than three degree. 
basic mean speed is 44 meter per second so mean speed is 44 meter per second terrain category category is 3 building category 3 Importance factor 1, risk coefficient K1, K3. Importance factor. K1 is 1.07. Topography for K3. K3 is one. Important factor is one. This is design life of structure is so 100. If all general buildings and structure, then K1 is 3, K3 is 3. Important factor is one. Wind coefficient. Structure class B. Modifier so modifier so this is zero legal king legal king Y direction go to move go to modify or lateral load going 44 meter per second parent category 3 building get parent category is 3 Inspector 1, risk of vision 1, topography is 1. Click on modify also 90 degree. Click OK. This is point 86. Inward coefficient. Inward coefficient. This is one point twenty two. Point eighty six.
to go clean. So we are defining earthquake load in x, earthquake load in y, wind load in x, and wind load in y. This is dead load in y. In e types, dead load is auto generated. So we have not to give dead load for beam and column section. We have to give live load and for finish load. So first of all, go to first floor, select all rooms, now assign frame loads, cell load, uniform, dead load. 1 kilo meter per meter square, 4 phoenix. Add to existing load, apply. Ok. On terrace floor, also select on slab, assign frame low, cell low, uniform, dead low, 1 kilo meter per meter square. Click ok. On water tank bottom level, suppose give red load for finish load, cell load, uniform, red load, load is 1.5 km square, apply. On top level also, give say low uniform, dead low 1.5, apply. Mm -hmm. So select the object, apply. Okay. On terrace floor, floor finish is 1.5 meter. So change it to 1.5 meter. On terrace level, Level first of all, delete D cell load uniform load, delete existing load, apply deleted now add to existing load 1.5 meter, apply go to previous selection 1.5 meter, apply. Now give live load. Here is also one one meter, one kilometer one meter square. So here is also we have to give assign cell load uniform load. One kilometer per Okay. Okay. Select sign cell load uniform load. Diluted here or sign cell load uniform delete apply now existing a four apply okay. now you can see here load. Apply. 
on terrace level also here is 1.5 kilo number mm square meter square so assigning cell row uniform Now, first row live loan. Live loan is two kilometers per meter square. Assign cell loan uniform. Make it live loan. Apply. In process, we three kilometer per meter square. Assign. Cell loan uniform. Line loan three kilometer per meter square. On terrace level, this is a two kilometer number. Assign cell loan uniform. On terrace level, one point five kilometer number. Just like this. Have to adjust it. Okay. Here is also one point five kilometer number. Meter square. Assign. Hello, uniform. One point five. Okay. Okay. Now staircase. Work in this is one kilometer meter square, and step is two point zero six kilometer meter square. And light load is three kilometers. Light load is three kilometers square. Four feet is one kilometer square. Step is two point thirty four kilometers. Your finish is one point seventy five kilometers square on inclined slab. So go to three D plan. Select this, 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 this. For that, assigning cell load uniform. Dead load is one kilometer square. And live load is three kilometer square. Apply. Go to previous selection. Three kilometers. Three kilometers. So we are defining three, 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 three. And the flow finish is one kilometer number meter square assigning. Similarly, on inclined slab, select inclined slab. So England slave is selected. Assigning cell row uniform. England slave slave load is one point seventy five floor finish and two point thirty four floor finish. So one point seventy five plus two point thirty four.
0.09 and then loom apply okay. go to previous selection live loom and sign shell loom uniform loom live loom add to existing loom Now you reach three kilograms of per meter square. So now you reach three kilograms of meter square. Apply. Okay. Now live load is. Now for light load reduction for seismic loading, go to define mass source, mass source MS SRC1, modify or show mass source, click on specify load button and tick all this. Dead load is one multiplier at and live load. We are giving live load to kilogram per square, which is less than three kilogram per square. So multiplier is twenty five percent. So zero point twenty five multiplier. Click add. Include lateral mass, lump lateral mass. Click OK. Click OK. Here MS SRC default mass source. Click OK. Now we have to analyze the model. First of all, save the model. Now for analyze the model. Check the model. Give the diaphragm. So define my diaphragm. Define section property. Assign frame. Assign joint diaphragm. B one. Apply to all story. Apply. First of all, select all model. So all model is selected. Assign join. Diaphragm. B one apply. So in all model diaphragm is defined. Assign. Now analyze. For the check model, select all joint story also. Also, length tolerance for checks one mm. Click OK. So model is checked. There is a one horizontal rigid diaphragm connection found. Between joints at different elevation. Please check. OK. No warning message was generated. Okay. Now analyze. Run analysis. Warning: Horizontal rigid diaphragm connection found between joints at different elevation. Please check. Okay. So analysis is done. We 
this is default save start a new motion so this is default save stop the animation tick mark on show on default save so this is on default save now this is plan view we have to make it plan ground floor apply okay now we have to define the floor combination at default design combination concrete frame design convert to user combination editable click ok click on convert click ok so this is all design combination by double clicking on it we can see the design combination red loom ok red loom light loom Zero one nine. Okay. Final one point five. Okay. One point two. One point two. One point two. Okay. So this is all our combinations. Click okay. Now run the analysis. Unlock the model. Okay. Analyze. Run analysis. Warning: Original diagram connection found. Join join the different elements. Let's check. So this is undeformed shape. Click start any motion. So this is this. This is stop. They can show on different side. Now we can display the Fourier response plots. So this is story response load. So maximum displacement is zero point five six two nine six eight mm. Zero point five six two nine six eight newton. Maximum displacement is zero point five six, and our limit is zero point zero zero four times height. The story height is eleven point six meter. So. Eleven point six into zero point zero zero four. Zero point zero four six four meter. Zero point zero four six four. There is a limit of zero point five six. Forty six point four meter four mm. Now 
in this way we can check the limit that it is in limit that maximum limit is in under maximum limit or not under maximum limit so we can check it we can design the building by concrete frame design view revised preferences this is preference wise 456-2000 step by step so check it click just click ok now design concrete frame design reverse selection rules for column for column smallest bar size is 12 mm largest bar size longitudinal is 25 mm 25 mm smallest bar size for ties is 8 mm largest bar size is 10 mm minimum spacing is 50 and maximum spacing is 300 mm for seismic is also smallest bar size is 12 mm largest bar size is 25 mm smallest bar size is 8 mm largest bar size is 10 mm Minimum spacing 15, maximum spacing is 300 mm. Click OK. Now for concrete frame design, reverse action rules for beams. For beams also, longitudinal bar, smallest bar size is 12 mm, largest bar size is 20 mm, bottom rebar is bar mm, 12 mm. Largest bar size is 20 mm. Prefer bar size is 16 mm. Prefer bar size is 16 mm. Minimum number of bars two at top. And minimum number of bars two at bottom. Stirrups. Smallest CF bar size is 8 mm. Largest is 10 mm. Minimum spacing 75 mm. Maximum spacing is 300 mm. For seismic requirement, longitudinal smallest bar size is also 12 mm. For bottom bar also 12 mm. Largest bar size is 20 mm for top rebar and 20 mm for bottom rebar. Prefer bar size is 16 mm for top and 16 mm for bottom. Minimum number of bars 2 for top rebar, number of bars 2 for bottom rebar. Now for seismic requirement, stirrups bar, smallest bar size is also 8 mm, largest bar size is 10 mm, minimum spacing 75 mm, maximum spacing is 300 mm. Click OK. Now design concrete, design frame design. Start design check. Start design or check. So this is check the design requirement. So this is the longitudinal bar reinforcement area, which you can see here for 3D plan also. So this is all reinforcement area in beam and column section in this way we can design the column and beam now display Now for detailing, now you can see the concrete frame design, display design info. So design and put is for longitudinal for reinforcement. You can also see the percentage of the rebar. This is the percentage. So this is percentage of the reinforcement area. You can see shear reinforcement also. This is shear reinforcement area. 
for beam and column section. In this way, you can see beam column capacity ratio, column beam capacity ratio. general reinforcement details for detailing go to detailing concrete component preference detailing preference steel component preference go to start detailing So this is detailing is done here. You can see the detailing. By here, loads, load button. design this is analysis this is results this is load cases this is load combination so this is load combination or load combination we can see here. This is all results. So you can see the frame results. Beam forces. So you can see here all data, design data, load combination, station, forces, shear force, torsions, moments of every beam and column. Similarly, in design also, concrete design, design forces, beam design forces, this is beam design forces which is used here. At every level and all beams. Similarly, for column design also, you can see column design forces, this uses here for designing, shear force, torsion, moment, and load combination which is used. This is Concrete column. So now report is created for that. Go to reports, summary reports. This is all summary reports. So this is the report. Which we can see here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe it. And make a bell icon so we can when we can make other videos you can see easily thank you for watching thank you